Hey everyone, so as you guys know that summers are approaching or in my case, they're already here. So PC gamers and overclockers like me are looking for means and methods to lower our CPU and our GPU temps. So the first and the most expensive way to do that is to get liquid cooling, whether it's custom or all in one. That's a very different and vast topic altogether. The second method is to increase the number of your case fans or get better case fans and trust me i know a bit too much about that as you can see the third and the cheapest method is to get a better thermal paste or repaste your cpu or your gpu i got my hands on 2023's best thermal paste and let me tell you all about that So, according to Tom's Hardware, which is a very reputable and recognized PC hardware related forums, this Pro Lima Tech PK3 Nano Aluminum or Aluminium, whatever, is the best thermal paste in the world right now. Far above the Grizzly Cryonaut and the Cooler Master Gel. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm gonna show you guys the result. Uh, the cheapest way to lower your CPU and GPU temps is to get a better thermal paste especially if you're using a generic paste you guys need to wake up you need to get a better thermal paste it's very easy to apply thermal paste or read to or to reapply your thermal paste uh, on your CPU but applying it on your GPU needs uh, a bit more finesse I'd say so if you want to repaste your GPU then you should only apply it under two conditions number one you have your gpu you've had your gpu for a very long time or you bought it second hand don't reapply the paste if your gpu is new it's totally useless because uh, most uh, vendors of gpu such as evga or msi or zotac they have really good paste so you don't need to change them unless you have had your gpu for a very long time then you should think about it but google it watch a youtube video how to remove your sink so yeah so let me show you guys the result of my old thermal paste which is the i have it right now with me it's the noctua nth one it's a very good paste uh it's not generic at all it's good i would say it's above uh it's I would I won't say it's a mid-range space it's above the mid-range but uh, this one apparently I don't know how it is right now but apparently this one's very good so let me guys let me show you guys the result hey guys so uh, right now I'm gonna show you the results of the Noctua NT1 NTH1 thermal paste it's a very good thermal paste but in that post shared by Tom's hardware of the best thermal paste of 2023. I'm gonna post its link in the description of the video. Uh, this paste, which I'm currently using, it's like way below. So my CPU is a i9-9900K and it's it has the standard XMP overclocking. I haven't done anything like extra. Uh, the minimum temperature was so right. Oh, before that, the ambient temperature is um, 20, 20 degrees centigrade. If you guys are wondering why I'm why I'm showing you the ambient temperature, the ambient temperature is very dependent on the overall temperature of your CPU because uh, that's the air which the CPU uh, which the casing is getting. So this is very important. So, so the, as when you, like if it's winters, uh, you definitely you'll have very uh, uh, your amb ambient temperatures will be in the lower side, and your CPU and your gpu and all your overall, overall system they will be um, the temperatures will be on the lower side um having the type of cooling or the case fans is a very different topic like i said before so 53 so it's it reached so this computer is idle idle you can see that it's 53 degrees centigrade uh minimum was i think this is 38 and the current value is 40 degrees centigrade. so right right now let me uh ramp up like let me max out the cpu case fans the case fans and the cpu fans 
okay now let me put some stress on the CPU okay so as you guys can see the temperature has reached 78 degrees centigrade not bad it's not bad in the end and mind you I have the custom liquid cooling okay I'll stop this and now I'm gonna show you guys the temperature of the CPU with the Prolima Tech the thermal paste apparently the best thermal paste of 2023 hey guys so I'm back I repasted the Prolima Tech PK Nano PK3 Nano Aluminum and right now the idle temp maximum is 45 and the minimum is 38 and the ambient temperature is still 20 degrees celsius celsius so the moment of the moment of truth has come let's put some stress uh, on the cpu and mind you all the uh, cpu settings are still the same the xmp profile is on the standard xmp profile and let's ramp up the CPU case fans and before I press this button I think the maximum ambient temps with the previous uh, paste were 53 degrees centigrade were the max idle and the max under stress were 78 degrees Celsius I think that's there's a lot of difference um, the maximum temp is 65 66 under stress and all the settings are same just the paste has been changed um, yeah I'd, I'd say it's totally worth it if you're getting that much difference but as I mentioned mentioned earlier it's a, like lots have lots of it has to do with your CPU cooling, I have custom CPU cooling, uh, custom CPU liquid cooling. Okay, I have a lot of case fans. I have a huge ass case. I'm sure you guys have seen it uh, in the intro of this video. And I just reapplied the paste. So I think it's a lot of difference. From 78, if we have come down to 66 with the PK3 Pro Lima Tech Nano Aluminum. So I think it's totally worth it, especially in summers. Um, I think getting a better thermal paste, especially if you're using a very bad thermal paste. I wasn't using a bad thermal paste. Actually, I was using a, a reasonably good thermal paste. It was a Nac Noctua NTH1. It's a good thermal paste. I, I also recommend it. But this one is like way better. You can see it, the difference. Um, yeah. And another thing about this paste was it was very like it spread very easily. So that was a plus. And yeah. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Definitely the bell icon, it will help me out a lot. And I recommend this paste, especially if you want to, uh, you know, get a cheaper way of cooling your CPU or your GPU. But if you want to change your paste of your GPU, don't just randomly open your GPU heat sink. Because then, if you don't know what you're doing, you can ruin like you can something really bad can happen so yeah see you guys